Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a new vlog. As you can see it's still dark, it's super super early, wish I could still be in bed. It's like five o'clock, had to get up at half four, but it is the last event of the season. Cannot believe how quickly this season is gone. I only did miss quite a lot with the wedding, but yeah, it's literally like we're in October. It's crazy. Anyway, we are heading to Swaycliff. I think that's how you say it. Novice today, just with Max. We're on early, so we've got to leave by half past five. So I've really got to get on and head on our way. So dad reckons he could jump the fence too yeah. of the novice, but you're saying no to this one now, are you? A hundred percent no. hundred percent no. hundred percent okay. no. Got 4A, this nice house to be at the skinny. You've just got to ride that. Got you've got to, to come that. in there and you've got to ride that again, haven't you? You've got to just get on. Yeah. Yes, come on, here we go. Chicana, so with a ditch underneath. What are we saying about this one? They're rider frighteners. Yeah. As just you can sort of see why. Farley Hall, the, the Chicana is where we had the issue, so I've just got to be not too fast. Sit him up, make sure he no, can make see sure he knows the ditch. What's yeah. You've got to sit him up and say, right, it's coming, it's coming. Big table, but doable, straightforward. Got the water. We've come up this mound two strides in a straight line to that log drop into water. We did a drop bigger than that the other day. Way Please bigger, yeah. Way bigger. And I did a couple the week before as well. So that's making me feel a little bit better. You can't afford to have your momentum die on you on the bottom of that hill. So you've got no. to hug the edge there. Do a 90 degree turn. And then you've got to get your leg on. Half hole, and then yeah. The half hole, leg on. And but you, leg, you need impulsion. Lots of leg up the mound. Yeah. And then also because he's going to be thinking, well, there's something the other side. So I've got to be on it with not too fast, but a lot of impulsion. Three part in here. So we need impulsion at the bottom of there. Yeah. Over the first logs, drop in, slip yeah. your reins. And the pick up canter back in and you have enough impulsion to go over the sea. Yeah. Because then if you look in the distance. And then there's nine. Nine is coming now. Yeah. From here, he thinks it's dropping into nowhere. So I've got to keep my shoulders up, not be too quick, but say it's fine. It doesn't actually drop too much the other side. They're listening to you and not running off with you down the hill. We did a bit of practicing yesterday where we had these dog legs where you're coming on a curving line. Yeah. Downhill and, and they're downhill, skinny. Downhill, yeah. And, it, and they're pretty skinny. Yeah. They're, they're not massive. They're very inviting, but it's very tight out to the B element, same sort of roll top. So let's walk that okay. out and see what we're doing. Five strides. So there's actually is more room than you think. Yeah. And fence 13, it's just a skinny on its own, which is relatively straightforward for this level, but come through this ground. and the ground is all very different and I think they've made this a bit tighter for you than last time actually and just think both legs on look through now if the sun's there that is very bright sun may have moved by the time I go but and oh, just really keep up a bit there, right? keep funneled thinking toothpaste aren't we yeah tuber toothpaste the combination on course this table to be the corner on a bit of a curve but there is quite a long distance in between just got to sit up over the table not come in too bold and then really keep your eye on that corner got these rails and then we've got a ditch and well, i'm gonna say two strides three four and the dog's on over and then to see that shoulder brush 
three strides to the shoulder brush. If they're gonna run out anywhere, it's gonna be to the right of this shoulder brush. Keep looking up to that tree in the middle. Keep them funneled. You're not gonna be too fast because you've got the ditch combination. So you need to be in quite a punchy canter so that they know something's happening and not too fast, but lots of impulsion. Last combination on course, skinny roll top. So that's not too bad. 18A, this log on top of the bank. And then we have B, a shoulder brush afterwards. Probably the most complicated yeah. so far, isn't it? You've got to have impulsion up the hill, yeah. but not be too fast, because he's not going to know what the landing's like the other side. So you need to be able to let him see it. Lots of impulsion, not too fast. Make sure you can see it and then be looking to B, the shoulder brush. 19 to finish. Lovely fence. So overall, Dad, tell me what you thought. I thought very durable course two combinations last one over there yeah. was probably the trickiest we go through the water i think that little combination they need to keep your wits about you overall i'd say very jumpable the ground is beautiful the weather's beautiful yeah i'm obviously beautiful <laughs> um so yeah it's uh, very doable we've got to keep our wits about us this morning i've we've given ash a little pep talk we've gone through the things that could go wrong yeah. we've written those down and we're going to try and sort our destiny out today by making sure they don't go wrong yeah. by discussing them at length. So fingers crossed everyone, it all goes to plan. Yeah. Mum's talking about, the, <coughs> talking about the horse's clip. Oh yeah, what's the clip like? He's had a nice yeah, clip. Yeah, quite good actually. Bad, is Probably it? not as good as I'd do, but it's all right. Are you any good at clipping then, Harry? I'm not sure. Oh, I used to do all the clipping. Oh, that is you true. Look that straight, look at that. Yeah, no, I that actually. actually... 100% I would actually. Look at that. That's actually not bad, is it? Is this one to get a coffee? You are in dire need of new wellies. I know. I know, these uh, lasted us well. They were yours 15 years, I think we've had them. Once. Yeah. 10, 15? Must be. But they have got holes in the feet all wet. Okay, guys. That's what Ashley says, okay, guys. Oh, where, are, where are we? Oh, we're at Swalcliffe. We're at Swalcliffe. We came here last year and got I think a six and a seventh. What are we hoping for? We're hoping to get her mindset coat. She's been working on the, the four. And uh, so we're hoping this is going to be a good run for Max because she's had a couple of sessions yep. with the lady. Uh, and feel we feel that did help with Zeb at Wellington, which is this week's vlog. Yeah. Let's just pan everyone around. It's a beautiful day here. Sun's out. Just a normal field. Where is the dressage? Mum knows. How does he not know? We drove past it and we came last year. I don't really pay any attention, Ash, that's the problem. As yeah. you well know, over and out.
it wasn't square, but square at the end. I thought the rest, I thought the, the rain was, back was good. Rain back was lovely. Yeah. yeah what no, did you I was think? Really, really pleased with him. I Pretty neat, and I he, thought the half pass. The leg yield. The leg yield, but same sort of thing. It's not really. But <laughs> similar. Yeah, no, he did that well. The uh, first one was not as good as the second, and the second one was better. Yeah, the first medium trot was lovely. Didn't lose any balance. Good. I thought the whole I test thought was, it was good. good. I thought the counter counters were lovely. Came back to trot. Bang on the mark, a lovely balance. He looks good. He is uh, good. I think overall. And do you think he's an Especially because chest? he's not been eventing for a while yeah. and you warm up with the cross Yeah, you do. Literally, there, literally you know, they're going. Zeb, Zeb would be, yeah. well... Do you want me to give him another eye kiss to I keep don't know yeah. what would have happened if Zeb had been here. <laughs> He'd have gone mad. <laughs> and I've got a migraine. And you've got a migraine. So I think all in all, <laughs> cannot complain at that. He's going to wipe that green over your chile, no, Harry. And who's going to have to clean that? Mum. <laughs> Can we have our predictions then, H? Yes. Uh, what did we get last time? 29. Did we? Where was that? Richard Downham. I'm going to say a 28. A 28? Yeah, I'm going to go for 28.7. I don't know, I'm a bit out of practice because I haven't been for a few weeks. So, OK, I'm going to go 30. Let's see. Okay guys, so we've just finished our dressage, haven't we Max? We've walked back, he was a very good boy, even with the dressage running, uh, cross country running right beside. You were kept your cool, you were a really good boy, weren't you? Really pleased with him, so we're just going to untack him, let him chill for 10-20 minutes before we tack up for show jumping. Okay, well are we ready, peeps? Because I have just looked at the score. Let's recap what we said. 28. Ash was 28. 28.7. And I was 30. So I lose by the biggest margin. Harry loses by the second biggest margin. What, what is it then? It is... 24 something. 24.8. Get, Get in. Good boy. I Very thought boy. it was yeah, good. I thought it was a good test. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh, I oh, did. I swore I went for 28.7. No, you Every said that after time. I said 28. I came out and you went, oh, well, this was this. Okay, no, so obviously one would guess where you might be, given that we are quite late in the class. First. Not to put any pressure on anybody, obviously. Some score, that is. That it? is some score. He is a good God. horse. Did that with if the migraine could... as well. Yeah, let's yeah. just do one thing at a time, yeah, well, as I say. Concentrate yeah, the, the aim of today. That, that's great. The aim of today is that and focusing on what I need to do for that. Absolutely superb round, really well ridden by Ash there, the horse, his stride was all a bit weird over there yeah. but he just did the business for us, absolute he class, good. he yes. was class, yeah, absolutely really, brilliant. really nice round. He didn't and actually, just remain calm. yeah this, this one, the pink and grey, a lot of people had that. Which is the only one he and just And I got in a little bit deep tapped, and then I thought, didn't. right, yeah. now reset, don't, don't hold to the next one now, just continue riding. I jumped in quite big over the green because I again like because there's a generator running there. He came around the corner and he was a bit like that, but oh, just brilliant! Brilliant, yeah, excellent. You just made it look really, you just made it. He, you and he made it look so yeah, easy. Yeah, did. Just, it was effortless at this height. 
it was you, nothing was going to come down. No. And he listened over there because you weren't. It wasn't your best looking round. Oh no. But it was but a he really. He responded every time I asked him something. He responded. But the difference to the is, question. you didn't change. You did not change your rhythm the whole way around there. And he no. put this in and a bit of that. He did what you and you literally you didn't change your way of going. You didn't then suddenly drive him in or hold him. <laughs> you just calmed yourself down and came in exactly the same. And that's the key to it. Yeah. Really, well, well done. Well done. Man. Excellent. Yes, good boy. That was a very good one. Okay, ride. so now we go on to the, <laughs> the cross okay, country. Let's go and change his boots. So I just need to visualise. Yeah, yeah, and we sit. need to go to our list. Yeah. Okay. Come out properly. I don't think my spin rounds are as good as Scott's, are they? Just on Max, ready to go cross country. Just got to focus on what I've done with my mindset, lady. I've gone cross country schooling five times since Little Downham. Um, so I'm definitely feeling a lot more prepared. I visualize and I've just got to go out there, mean it and make sure I'm looking through the flags and I'm committed to each jump. So let's get on. is all washed off ice boots on aren't you buddy just need to take your plaits out so we finished our cross country haven't we maxi hey max was a very good boy our main aim was to go clear wasn't it we just wanted to finish the season on a positive and on a clear round because as you've seen some of our other vlogs we've had a few hiccups along the way i've lost my confidence a bit i'm really really proud of him he finished with a super clear we had two little sticky jumps just coming out of the water and a little bit of the last combination but he was always going to go so that's the main thing we did get 13.2 time it's very twisty turny here there's no real place to gallop so i think i've seen one person out of four sections so far has gone in the time and a lot of people have had 10 time 8 time 19 time 20 time and I was just having to go a little bit slower just to make sure I didn't mess up any of the combinations. Still really proud of him, waiting to see the scores, how we've done. But that obviously added quite a lot of time onto our score, a very good score of 24. But yeah, I'm really proud to have finished for the double clear at the end of the season and go into the winter feeling, feeling a bit more confident and just building on this ready for next season. Oh, 
great. I've oh. just trod in the poo. Carrot for the good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Did very well, didn't you? Hey? You did. Smash the dress on the show jumping. And you did the cross country. Yeah. Mum needed to just put her foot down. Yeah. She had a she had a slightly foot off the accelerator, yeah. but you jumped everything. You're a very good. Aren't You're you? a very good boy. And actually, a lot of people are having time. It's a very twisty, turny course. So no, I did go a bit slow, but it's lots of people are. Well, I think only one person so far in four sections has actually gone in the time. But Max was very good. We're very pleased with Max. Oops, squishing me. For his, for his last event of the season. Double clear with the best dressage of the section. So now I've just got to get it all together, ready for next season and go a little bit quicker. Yeah. Good boy. What a clever boy. Sorry. Okay, so we've just got back from our last event of the season with Max. We're just going to put him out in the field. Dad's filming is nowhere near as good as Scott's. We're just going to put him out in the field for a couple of hours whilst I ride Kato. We finished up sixth. Uh, with a double clear, super, super proud of Max for our last event of the season. Really good end. Max just wants to get to the field with Zeb. Um, yeah, really, really good end to our season. Really pleased with him. The main thing was getting back out on that cross country, going clear after I've had those few confidence issues and uh, I've gone and seen a mindset coach. So that's definitely helped. So really, really proud of him. Um, so I thank you as always for all of your support. Really, really appreciate it. And we will see you for the next one. Over and out.